all right guys how's it going um, I'm in one of my uh, other greenhouses uh, in my third or fourth floor um, yeah so I haven't really done many updates of this greenhouse so for I'll do a quick roundup because things are moving rapidly here I came around to start uh, try and do some uh, cleaning because uh, just couldn't get around to do it I can see quite a lot of uh, nettles growing and uh, weeds and then a few damages here and there so it needs to be sorted um, so I just want to point you out to this variety here it's called it's a French uh, variety called Bastelier I bought it from uh, Pierre Bourne Nursery in, back in 2014 so it's about 10 years old and in all these years I've only had about um, three or four figs of it uh, it's sad but it's true because um, this variety is quite picky when it's in terms of its uh, growing conditions um, they need regular supply of moisture and um, fertilizer uh, if you're growing in pots I mean last year it had about six or seven figs and I was really hoping for it to flourish and ripen for us uh, but we went for a holiday and it just dried out uh, I think my mate was watering on it we missed a couple of days and it um, yeah it just dropped um we're actually uh, it wasn't our holiday we went i went for my training and um my wife uh didn't think about watering this because she thought it's buried in ground so they don't need watering but unfortunately uh these two figs uh this is albaca comuna and um Bastelier and um, ben's golden riverside over there um none of these pots got their bottom cut out uh, they just got their holes and I've, I think most of them managed to put their roots down except these three so it, it sort of uh, suffered a bit um, which is why it dropped its fruits so if you're growing this variety never let it build guys you you have to keep on top of your watering if you're growing them in port that is so what I did for this year was cut the bottom off and um, and I'm hoping that we'll put, put all these roots down and then hopefully this year it will um, ripen some fruits for us because it's an absolutely delicious variety uh, and again if you're growing in pots um, it, it is a good variety and I've seen people ripening uh, figs on it in the second or third year even first year in some cases but uh, yeah you need to be on top of it um, right next to it we've got what uh, Neruccio di Elber and um, Adriatic JH that's one of my Adriatic JH I've got a huge tree as well um, because it's a lovely variety um, so Neruccio got a few Brabus hanging around there and then unless any slugs or snails get to it uh, we will we shall we will get a few fruits of it the uh, Ponte Teresa uh, is my uh, one of my best producers uh, it's been like that for the last few years uh, it's got several Brabus uh, it's not a Bifire variety if you will it's uh, it's a common it's a main crop only unifier unifier variety type fig uh, <laughs> that up. Um, yeah so um, it's but it did manage to hold on to a couple of bravers for me last year so I don't know it we might have changed its mind or I mean even um, cold dams have uh, ripened bravers for me in the past so it's just it's probably just an overwintered main crop or just a just a dud fig guys it wasn't any uh, special or anything but yeah um, and this here is um, Grigio and it's usually um, it's, it's a really lovely variety it's a bit like um, it's an elongated grey fig and it breaks its dormancy slightly later than the other varieties but it ripens the figs earlier so it's in a way I'm a bit worried about these figs uh, breaking its dormancy now because uh, we might still get a late frost and then uh, they, they will get sapped um, so yeah I'm, I'm a bit concerned about that but it is what it is um, they, they really need to wake up uh, now for us to be able to get ripe fix off in there uh, August or early September uh, but this variety um, breaks its dormancy late but ripens its figs earlier if that makes sense and then right next to it we've got it's a multi grafted tree by the way and i was talking about grafting yesterday um so the rootstock is brown turkey and uh, a screech or there grafted there and then i've got called it down a blanca negra uh, my apologies it's called it down gigantina uh 
grafted up there and the Fonda Teresas are all grafted onto brown turkey. One there, one here, and um, that's a multi-grafted uh, fig tree. Um, it's Fonda Teresa grafted here and a Torashi Nero grafted there. And I've had several people asking me uh, for Torashi Nero's cutting. Unfortunately, that's the only specimen I got and it doesn't grow. Um, so it's all, almost like a, I, know, I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit stubborn. Maybe I, I need to set an air layer just for me to have a backup because if, if that variety dies, I, don't, I won't have any. And I don't think I will, I will ever get one because uh, it was, it's, I got it from uh, this guy in Italy, Sergio. And I, I don't think he will uh, have any cuttings for me anymore. Um, yeah, so we gave, a, uh, gave the grapevine a massive pruning. It was growing all the way down. And I think a lot of the buds were sort of uh, dying out or they, they, they weren't like uh, looking great. So I just um, cut it off guys. Um, I'm not really keen on grapes. My wife and kids love it, so I, I, I left more than enough for them. And then you see this year, we will we'll have more than enough grapes from these two wines anyway. Um, this year is uh, Amateur, and I'm, I'm getting a bit concerned because if you look carefully here, these brabus are getting a few holes in it, and uh, that's, that's caused by um, slugs. Uh, or snails, uh, they love munching on little brabus. Uh, that's no good for us. So I'll have to tackle that at some point. And uh, I know it's, it's a bit weedy here and a bit messy. So we'll sort that out tomorrow. And then um, I'll, I'll do an update after I have cleaned all the um, greenhouses. And this year is my uh, beautiful gorgeous old noir. And it's, you can see it's got a few brabus. Um, and uh, they won't ripen they'll just drop off so i might actually take them off while i can because it's uh, it's definitely a main crop only and it's an absolutely delicious delicious fish <laughs> and here i've got my nero 600m i'm never going to prune this variety because it's staying dwarf and the trouble is when you start pruning they will send a lot of uh, suckers or water shoots up and i pruned it in the past and you can see what i mean it sends lots and lots of uh, um, growth and then uh, you, it'll be difficult for us to tackle it and then a good example for that is the Negroni here and it's just uh, been extremely vigorous guys I had to chop it right down so uh, even the Ponte Teresa I don't really take a lot of cuttings of it I've only uh, think I had about 10 cuttings uh, sent out to people but uh, I keep most of the tips, I keep it because I just don't like touching this tree. Um, I, I just want to keep it short, uh, stubby. Like, like if you manage to keep, uh, that's uh, it's a bit dark here, isn't it? If you manage to uh, grow your figs like that, a bit stubby, they will just uh, only grow like a couple of inches every year and they'll just stay short. Um, yeah, but if I, if I am to go and snip these cuttings they will just start sending out a lot of shoots guys and that's not good uh, and that's the graft which i did about six seven years ago and it's almost as if uh, um yeah it's, it's a single stem in it so and that's the uh, ponte teresa graft yeah so yeah grafting um and um yeah. grafting is the way to go guys and uh, this is my uh, uh, Nero di Telrisi variegated and that's the craft over there and uh, uh, it's a beautiful thing guys I should really uh, it's in ground anyway so I cut the bottom off a um, couple of other graphs uh, here we've got uh, uh, Dean Dean Vincent Kawanko. Uh yeah I hope I pronounce it right and then I've got my um, Dian Conquet and uh, Saint Martin, Saint 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 Martina. It's a it's a Pons fig. It's not Saint Martin um, white one. It's from Pons. And then Algerina Blanca there grafted. 
and uh, this is my Brigato del Salendo grafted here and it's uh, grown into a beautiful tree unfortunately the um, I couldn't take a lot of cuttings this year because the limbs are really thin and then uh, I don't think uh, people will appreciate these cuttings so I just uh, didn't really bother uh, yeah that's a the graft there and I've got a couple of grafts here it's a bit messy here guys with the weeds but I do apologize it's uh, Dian Punta something like that from Ponce and then cool the cover there that's my uh, spare one so yeah so and also white Madeira number one graft here and one there so two grafts same variety and I've had this tree for several years and it's doing well so just a quick update of this guy greenhouse guys before I uh, tidy it up uh, you can see how messy it is so I'll tidy it up and then I'll come back and do an update tomorrow or Saturday yeah and I'll speak to you guys then cheers bye bye